Hello, I'm Carl with ProBuilder, and I'm here to walk you through the process of updating a project built with a previous version of ProBuilder to the latest version. Uh, this tutorial is for people who have used the DLL version of ProBuilder. If you had the source version installed, this tutorial doesn't apply to you. Uh, you should check the documentation for instructions on how to upgrade that project. Um, this also doesn't apply if you're switching from the DLL version to the source version or vice versa. Um, check the FAQ or documentation for instructions on how to do that. Okay, so I have here a project built with ProBuilder 2.4. Um, a pretty simple scene set up here just to show you um, how these script references will stick around after we are done with the upgrade process. So the first thing you'll do is open up the asset store window and import the new package. Um, so I have it here on the desktop. I'll just drag it in. Okay, you'll get this window coming up. Uh, it should come in just like this with everything selected. Um, if it's not, make sure that they're all selected just by hitting all. And then go ahead and hit import. should take a few minutes to import everything. And then you'll get a dialog box that shows up saying, this is the latest version of ProBuilder. Um, in my case, I've gone through this once or twice already. So it didn't show up for me because it's already shown. OK, anyways, you'll see a bunch of errors in the console. Uh, it's expected. So the first thing you want to do is find the Classes folder in ProBuilder. So it's under ProCore, ProBuilder, Classes, and then right click. Show in Explorer. If you're on a Mac, it's show a context click, which if you're out with the trackpad, I think it's a two finger click. And you'll show in Finder versus Explorer, but same principles apply. So now you have the Finder window open and a bunch of uh, core DLL files. What you want to do is delete the existing ones, which will be Unity 5. So delete ProBuilder Core Unity 5 and ProBuilder MeshOps Unity 5.dll. Uh, don't worry about the meta files if you have those enabled. If you don't have those enabled, don't worry about it at all. Uh, so now you rename the ProBuilder Unity 6 DLLs to Unity 5. And we're done with classes. And now we do the same thing with the editor folder. And there's just one in the editor folder named ProBuilder Editor Unity 5. OK, now go back into Unity. It will take a minute to re-import everything. And depending on what version of ProBuilder you're coming from, you'll have a couple different errors over here from deprecated files. Um, and I'll show you how to get rid of those once it finishes recompiling. All these warnings for new GUI IDs are not a problem. Ditto for the error importing folder. I'm still not sure what causes that. I th but so far, I haven't yet to see any adverse effects. It's still loading. OK. It's still thinking. So while it's thinking, I'm going to go ahead and open up the folders that I know are going to be complaining about. Uh, the shared folder, if you're from an old enough ProBuilder version to still use the shared folder, can go. OK, here we go. So you'll see this kind of thing over here. Um, PV save load was deprecated. If you have an extra one, that just means that Unity didn't want to overwrite a file. Um, but those are both deprecated. You can go ahead and delete those. And as it thinks, it'll show us one more. The Vertex Painter. Yep, that was moved into the core recently. So that can be deleted as well. And depending on how you use ProBoot in your project, like if you used API calls, some of those may be deprecated. Um, you'll have to fix those on a case-by-case -case basis. But generally, anything in the ProBuilder folder that
that throws an error after upgrade can be deleted. Okay, so now that's everything. That is the process. Uh, you'll see your script references are still intact. You can continue editing. these objects just like you normally would. And don't forget to save. All right, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to stop by the Procore forums. I'm happy to help. Thanks for your time, and good luck.